During this energy activation session, this energy transfer, we're going to be talking about Kundalini Prana. Why? Because in this society we live today, so many people, politicians are the experts, use information to make people assume one thing is another. So just take a few deep breaths. Connect to the energy. If you do your own independent research, let's say perhaps you read the sutras, you read the Upanishads, you look at word definitions. Kundalini is the energy. It's not the life force energy. It's the cosmic energy that rises up the spine. It's the cosmic energy from the cosmos, the part that is found within every individual. So what is the energy that activates the Kundalini? It's prana. Because prana is the vital energy. Prana is the life force energy. When we push enough prana into the root chakra, when we open the vayu, the wind channel, through the connection of our mulabanda, contracting, pumping. We talk more about this in my course, the differences between doing the two. But with the pranic energy, huge amounts of pranic energy, with the use of the mulabanda, we can use pranic energy to activate the Kundalini energy. Sakti energy, Shakti energy rising. Prana energy rising, not Kundalini, life force energy rising. Kundalini, cosmic energy rising. Apana energy falling, good say. Shiva energy is cosmic energy going down. Light body is basically the energy or the auric bodies. So when people say they're using Kundalini activation energy, when your body is moving, it's vital life force energy. That's prana. Kundalini activation energy is prana. Can't say this enough. When there's enough of it, you're in, right, in the right positions, and we've cleared the energy pathways, the Kundalini will be free to rise up the Shushumna. Now the energy, if we open and balance the chakras and let the chakras flow one into another, is that the cosmic energy rising up the Shushumna? Or is that just prana rising, clearing the path for the Kundalini energy? The life force energy has to clear the path for the cosmic energy, surely.
So Kundalini activation energy is prana. When we prepared the body, we can have a Kundalini awakening, which is the cosmic energy rising up to Kundalini. When it pierces out the thousand petaled lotus, the top chakra, which again sometimes is translated as the pineal gland, which is actually the sixth chakra, not the seventh. Then the internal individual cosmic energy can connect to the external. But as above, so below. The microcosmic is the same as the macrocosmic. Therefore, we have this auric field around us, just like the planet has an atmosphere. The edge of the atmosphere, we have like this magical thing holding it all in the light body. So as that Kundalini energy rises up the Shushumna and out the top of the head, it can connect freely to the outward bodies. And past the light body. Well, the light body is the communication between that inner and outer, our world and the upper world, and the lower worlds. So don't be fooled into thinking you do something called Kundalini activation. It's actually activating your Kundalini. It's just building, clearing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's just building, clearing your pranic energy to clear your channels, preparing for Kundalini activation and awakening. Sorry to let you down. Sorry to blow the whistle on this. But when you do your own independent research, go read the Upanishads, go read the Sutras, go read the Tantras. And you'll find out the same thing. Let me just subscribe to the channel subscribe button. Be clear on what you do. Be careful who you listen to. Don't take my word for it. Go do your own independent research on this. It's clear. Download a copy of the Upanishads. Go and read. The definition of the words of what is prana, what is kundalini, it says very clearly, prana is the vital life force energy. Kundalini is the cosmic energy within the individual. To anyone that says kundalini is vital life force energy, isn't quite being direct. Now people could say, oh yes, but you've made videos saying Kundalini activation, universal life force energy. Indeed, I have. Because that is activating the prana, preparing for your Kundalini activation. Because the thing is, Kundalini activation energy is real. It's just not Kundalini energy, it's pranic energy. And this is why I've moved on instead of doing the pranic energy. And people who have compared my Kundalini activation energies to my light body activation energies, a lot of people say they feel very different. Because one is the cosmic energy, 
one is prana. So you have to give the cosmic energy, one has to have that kundalini awakened. 